The key factor in this immigration issue is the numbers. The fact that Americans are concerned about immigration today is not because Americans have suddenly become more mean-spirited or that they've even changed that much. What's changed is the numbers of immigrants. Now listen to these numbers. In the 40 years prior to 1965, we had an average of 178,000 immigrants per year. Now I call that the golden era of immigration because I can find no time in history when immigrants were so welcomed, when they assimilated so quickly, or when they did so well. Because we had lower immigration, we had a tighter labor market, which means that we had the pressure on more capital investment, we had pressure for uh, higher productivity and higher wages. And because of that, we became a middle class society during that golden era of immigration. And what's really wonderful about the golden era of immigration is that it's the only time in American history that there was a, a sustained significant increase in the income of black Americans, and that increase was even faster than the increase for white Americans. Tight labor markets, the best friend that any worker ever had. But in 1965, Congress changed the immigration law and inadvertently sent the numbers skyrocketing. Between 1965 and 1989, we averaged more than 500,000 immigrants a year. Nearly every aspect of American society has changed because of that rapid increase. The polls show us that uh, between 70 and 80 percent of Americans say immigration ought to be cut. And yet, Americans have not really spoken out that much about legal immigration. And I think the reason is, is because most of us have immigrant friends. We don't want to talk about things that would uh, hurt the feelings of our immigrant friends. And we certainly would not want to say anything or do anything that would bring hostility uh, toward the foreign born among us. The polls show that Americans um, believe that immigrants are hardworking, family loving people. They like immigrants. So what we have right now is a country in which Americans are pro-immigrant but anti-immigration. I find that people get angry when they see what I'm about to show you. And what I ask people, and I ask you is, if you get angry, don't get angry at immigrants. If you're angry, the place to put your anger is on public officials who have set immigration numbers without regard to their effect on the American people. In the 90s, and let's just take a look, one more look at this, immigration is running at more than 800,000 per year. Why are Americans so concerned about immigration today? It's because the numbers have overwhelmed them. I'm about to show you some charts that should be the centerpiece of any discussion on immigration. No congressional action should occur without consulting these charts. In 1970, we had 203 million people in this country. Those people would be represented below this chart. What this chart shows you, what this green shows you, is the growth in the U.S. population since 1970. In 1973, the American people moved to a below replacement level fertility. That means that we have on average fewer than 2.1 children per woman. At below replacement fertility, we will eventually stabilize our population along with all the rest of the advanced nations of the world. Um, but we still had growth. This is the growth of births over deaths. And the reason is, is that the baby boomers, and I'm at the first of that bulge, we had to move through our childbearing years. So even though we had small families, there were so many of us that we kept growing. Demographers have shown us what will happen to the 1970 stock population uh, throughout the next 50 years. And that is, they took the people who were here in 1970, subtracted the deaths of those people, added their descendants, and subtracted the deaths of their descendants. And they found that this is what will happen. Now, as you can see, the population by right now is very slowly growing. And in, in, in the next five years, it's going to stop growing. It'll grow a little bit more with the baby boom echoes echo. And then it reaches a peak, peak of 247 million in the year 2030. This is not a zero immigration level, however. This is replacement level immigration. That is, Replacement level fertility is when you have the same number of people being born as are dying each year. Replacement level immigration is when you have the same number of people coming in as leave each year. Right now, about 200,000 Americans leave the country permanently each year. 
This is what the Census Bureau tells us actually happened in the last 20, 25 years. Now, as you can see, our population growth has doubled over what it otherwise would have. This red represents every immigrant who came since 1970, plus their descendants, minus the deaths of both groups. There's been as much population growth from immigration as from the natural growth from the 1970 stock population. Now, that has meant that we have had to double all of the additional infrastructure expenditures we've had in this country. We've had to build twice as many schools, twice as many sewage treatment plants. We've had to build twice as many roads and streets. All of the needs of this country have, the additional needs of this country, have doubled because of this radical new immigration policy of the United States government. In California, the State Department of Education has found that they have to build a new school every single day of the year in perpetuity as long as the current immigration continues at this level just to keep up with the children being added by immigration. So what does Congress have in, in store for us right now? Well, the U.S. Census Bureau tells us that if Congress does not lower the level of immigration that we have right now, we will be looking at a future that looks like this. As you can see,